Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we get started on 24 hour temperature cast. Got those numbers this morning a little bit lower than we've been seeing, seeing some upper 40s, some mid 40s. I think like yesterday, we're going to keep those daytime highs in the 70s. That's all. And then tonight into tomorrow, still a little bit on the cool side, but maybe not as cool as this morning. This one feels like the coolest one we're going to get in this little bunch, and then things will slowly start to moderate and warm up a little bit as we head towards the second half of the week. Not much cooking satellite radar composite style. That's part of the reason why we've got the cooler temperatures. We've got the cooler, drier air in place. We've got the clear skies, and we've got those relaxed winds. All that contributes to some of these cooler temperatures we've got this morning. Any showers way up to the north, up through parts of the Midwest and the Northern Plain states. That's where they're going to stay. We're at 46 this morning in Tallahassee and in Thomasville. It's 48 degrees in Valdosta. Usually we'd be starting in the low 50s, so it's a little bit on the cooler side of normal. We don't have a whole lot of moisture out there. Eventually, as the winds start to change, we'll start to bring back a little bit of the moisture, and that means the overnight temperatures won't get as low as they are this morning. Check out Blakely where it's only 43. I see more 48s for Camilla, for Moultrie, for Perry, and for Live Oak. And I see even more 46s for Quincy, for Tifton, and for Homerville. So lots of numbers right around 46 to 48. That breeze today, if there is one, and it's not going to be as noticeable as it was yesterday, will still be more from the north, but it's going to start turning more northeast and even eventually towards the east. And you know what? A little bit of patchy fog in a couple of spots as that air cools. We're seeing some reduced visibilities for Live Oak and for Perry down to just like a mile to two and a half miles, but most spots are better than seven miles. Now, still looking at that satellite radar composite and still not seeing a lot of organized anything yet. Higher pressure is going to be the big weather player around here for another day or two, maybe more. This next boundary will try to sag into the southeast, but I think it runs into that wall of high pressure and has a tough time making it this far south. We'll keep our eyes on it. The more south it gets, it'll start to help squeeze out a few clouds, and maybe we talk about an isolated sprinkle, but I think those chances are going to be so low, they're barely worth mentioning, at least at this point. Future cast from now till tomorrow, and then from tomorrow till Thursday, still don't show us much. Can you see where these clouds are just sinking a little bit? That's that boundary trying, but any real opportunity for rain looks like it wants to stay way out to the west and it'll get gobbled up by more high pressure that looks like it wants to linger across parts of the northern Gulf all the way into the upcoming weekend, which means our forecast likely isn't going to change all that much. Just slowly start to get a little bit warmer and a little bit more humid. On the Gulf for today, northeast and east winds 5 to 15, seas 1 to 3 feet, so not bad for the boaters at all. 40s and some 50s this morning, we'll call it clear, we'll call it cool. Sunrise time is at 7.01, no rain chances in the mix for today, not with all those blue skies. I think we get to the upper 70s, 76, 77, 78, probably the best that we're going to do in most spots. Very comfortable, very pleasant. And then tonight, back near 50, maybe a few upper 40s mixed in there, some lower 50s, right where it's supposed to be this time of the year. And I think we're looking at that 50-80 split tomorrow or close to it. And maybe just a little bit warmer than that on Thursday. Probably more low to mid 50s Thursday morning and maybe low to mid 80s Thursday afternoon. That's also pretty close to where it's supposed to be this time of the year. Now as we head into the weekend, a few more clouds, a little bit more humidity. That'll keep the overnight temperatures a little closer to 60. I think the afternoons are going to start getting a little warm again. Mid 80s, maybe a smidge warmer than that, depending on how much sunshine we have and how much cloud cover we pick up. But if you're looking for any kind of significant change, I don't see that. I don't see rain chances. I see another couple of days of the really good stuff before we start bringing back slightly warmer and more humid.